erase the red line. Then uh, let's start again. We have a golf course, and we've got um, the, the the hole that the golfers are playing on is a par four hole, and that means that if they're pretty good players, they're able to get their ball from the tee all the way into the hole within four shots, and that includes driving from the driving range and, and chipping and putting and getting the ball into the hole. And then we've got some statistics for the number of players and how many shots they needed. Six players managed to get the ball in the hole um, after only two shots. That's pretty amazing. That's sort of like one shot to the green and then one into the hole. Seven players managed to get the ball into the hole after three. Sixteen players needed exactly what is recommended for a pretty good player. Seven went what we call one over par. They needed one extra shot. They took five shots to get into the hole. And four of the players went two over par. They needed two extra shots. They should have been able to get it in in four, but they took six. So we had 40 players in total. And the question is actually quite simple. Do you think that these were pretty good players, professional players, beginners? Um, it actually doesn't ask you for very much detail. Uh, if, we look at the, if I look at these statistics, I can see that most of the players got, in, got the ball into the hole in at least the number of recommended shots for, for professionals. There was only 11 players out of 40 that went slightly over. So I would say this is a pretty professional bunch of um, golf players. But let's, um, let's actually use some... Um, Let's find out what the average number of shots was. If we look at, uh, take here, make a new table. If we take the number of shots times the number of players. Let's see what the average number of shots the players were. So we take 2 times 6 here, giving us 12. 7 times 3, 21. 16 times 4, double 16, we get 32. Double that again, we get 64. Seven fives, 35, and six fours, 24. She says, writing something else, totally random. Six fours, 24. So here we get the number of shots times the number of players. Very useful now, because now the average is really easy for us to work out. This is, this is actually the total number of shots if we just add all these sums up together. So we get 12 plus 21 plus 64 plus 35, plus 24. I don't seem to like 24 today. Plus 24. All divided by the total number of players we had. Well, if we add 6, 7, 16, 7, and 4, always try and look for 20s if you can. We get 7 and 7 here giving us 14, 14 plus 16 giving us 30, 6 plus 4 giving us 40. So we divide that by 40. And um, let's do that quickly. 12, 21, 64, 35, 24. Again, I'm looking for 10s, if I can find them. A 4, a 4, and a 2 will give me a 10 plus 6. So that will get give me 16 here. Carry over my 1. Again, looking for 10s, if I can find them. 6 and 2 and 2 will give me 10, plus 5, 15. So we get 156 divided by 40. We don't need to worry about our 40 times tables because we can simplify that, divide top and bottom by 10. We get 15.6 divided by 4, which is pretty easy to work out. 4 is into 15, 4, 8, 12 go 3 times with three left over. And then fours into 36 go nine times. So the average number of shots of all these players was 3.9, less than par, which you know would say that these were, these were pretty good players. You're supposed to be an elite player to be able to hit um, in the ball and get it in at the right number of shots for that hole. So that would be your conclusion to that. But using the statistics as well helps you. So work out the average.